today's video is going to be a decorate with me video in my living room. So welcome to my very bare living room at the moment. Um, but what I wanted to do today was kind of show you how I have created a very spring look. We're going to do a little bit of French country. It's really my own style, but I deem it French country, rustic, farmhouse. After winter, I really just like to do a spring summer look. And for today's palette, I'm actually gonna go against what I normally do and keep my palette very serene, very kind of tonal, very neutral, if you will. I'm not gonna incorporate a ton of color in my living room space because I have color kind of going on throughout the rest of this large space right here. But very important uh, for me and my style is family friendly decor. Not de decor that you gotta kind of tiptoe around or be careful with, this is stuff we live in, we throw these things around, things have been knocked off of this table. And so as we go, you'll kind of hear the reasoning behind why I'm choosing which pieces to put where. So I wouldn't say the focus on this is like really decorator, oh, it's very picturesque and Pinterest worthy. It is, but it's also functional and practical. And that's kind of the decorating style that I inhabit is that lived in rustic farmhouse French country feel, if you will. So welcome if you are new, please subscribe and let's get into this. Okay, so we're gonna start on this table right here. Um, last year, all of this furniture in here was dark and I painted all of it, I was over it, I had dark bookshelves, I had dark furniture, I, everything was dark and I just had a moment of no. <laughs> and so I chalk painted over everything. So my furniture already is pretty rustic looking. It was pretty beat up. And so that's kind of the reason why I go with that feeling because inevitably things are gonna get dinged up. So I'm gonna start by just putting a nice placemat and I picked this up at Kirkland's. I actually bought four of these and I usually use them to put on my table, but I love the rustic like burlap feel of this. And because this is a very highly used area, this is main traffic area in my house and I have children, I like to keep my tables pretty simple. So I'm only going to set this underneath that lamp over here and that is it. is just screaming put pillows on me I love pillows and recently over the last I'd say year year and a half I've been shopping on Amazon for pillow covers instead of just buying new pillows so my biggest recommendation for you is to buy goose feathered some sort of feathered pillow that you can karate chop that you can shape I have found over the years that the pillow forms themselves that are foam they get misshapen they get lumpy they don't look so good and so gone are the days where I buy pre-shaped uh, pillows and I don't even buy I will sometimes buy a pre-shaped form pillow but the cover has to be removable otherwise you are committed to that pillow cover on that shape forever <laughs> so I picked up these uh, pillow covers from Amazon they're a very natural material that matches my curtains almost perfectly I'm sorry if I keep looking at myself I'm using a new camera and I'm not not used to it this is literally the first time and then it has like um is this called burlap where it's like I don't know what the word is, but it's edged nicely in that. But this is what I mean. You can shape the pillows. So I bought two of those covers. You can get them in whatever size you need. These are huge pillows. They came with my couch. I would have never bought this size myself, but they came with the couch. This is what I'm working with. So um, this one and then to coordinate and to, con to continue to keep it a very neutral base that way if and when, I should probably go with when, I decide to add some color in the summertime, I can just have one neutral and then one pop of color. I bought these cute ones with the little buttons, kind of give a little farmhouse feel. These ones are a little bit more soft. They're more of like a chenille, definitely have that texture going on. And then the cute little buttons. And once again, karate chop. <music> stuffed chair ottoman combo is just calling for a lumbar pillow and I happened to pick this up on clearance at Kirkland's for like $20 it was such a steal and I love the little pinstriping detail on it definitely gives that farmhouse feel with the the pinstriping ticking stripe and then just kind of the rustic thankful on here and I'm just gonna go and set that over on the chair 
No living room for me would be complete without blankets draped any and everywhere. I put them in baskets. I put them over every little arm of chairs. I put them on couches. I put them everywhere. I feel like they add so much coziness. But yet there's that practical factor. Like maybe you're all, I hate it when you're already laying on the couch and you're tired and you don't want to get up to get the blanket, but you're starting to fall asleep and you need one. It's the best when you can just pull one down from either end of the couch. It's just voila there so i have this beautifully knit uh actually it's fleece on the other side blanket that i got from home goods don't look too close it's it's highly used full of cat and dog hair um but i'm just gonna go and drape that over here on this ottoman the thing with draping is there's no wrong way to do it you can do it however works best for you i try to conceal as much of the torn up ottoman as possible so i kind of lay it this long way okay over on that table over there i have to put a little something on there so i have this fun little round natural material placemat i got this at ikea and i'm gonna go set that over there on the table to bring in that French country feel and I've just found myself super drawn to metal just in general and I incorporate different types of metal whether it be smooth metal, colored metal, rustic metal all throughout my house. I just really think it really warms up a space and it makes it feel lived in and I love that look. So I picked this up at Michael's uh, this spring so this is currently available and then inside this is from Ikea. Um, they have these plants and then you can pick out whatever tin you want. I have these in gold white and silver so I just stuck that inside and I'm gonna go set that over there on the side table I did an entire decorate with me for this mantle so if you want to see that video I will link it below ignore the dog toys that's also concealing cords but it's like this is the practical side of me like I watch all these decorating videos and I'm like but where's your dog toy then Where's your cat tower? Where's your ugly dog bed? Where do you put it in your house? <laughs> and then here comes the practical side of me. Um, I bought this cute little basket from Hobby Lobby and in it we keep remotes. Remotes for all the different doodads we have going on here and video games and all kinds of little fun trinkets that I don't like to look at. I like to disguise things like this. So I put it in the basket and I'm gonna set that basket right below on the bottom shelf of this side table. Every living room has them, but we don't need to look at them. All right. So now we're gonna start to decorate the coffee table, which at this point is the main kind of decorating area other than the mantle. And here's, here's the thing with this. My husband does not like tall things on the coffee table for obvious reasons. He likes to be able to lay on the couch <laughs> and see the TV and not have to look around decor. I get it, I get it. I look at all these spaces, with these big tall things, there's gorgeous height on the coffee table and from a design standpoint, it makes perfect sense. But from a practical standpoint, not so much. A lot of the things that I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna put off to the side and they're gonna be very low in height. I had a tall ceiling and a second living space that we didn't spend, you know, quality time in and it was just for looks, I would totally go over the top with it, but we just can't. So for me, here's where trays serve such an amazing purpose because even once it's decorated, you can just pick all the decorations up and move it off the table if you do want to play. We do play board games on here and card games. And so, like I said in the beginning, my style has to be functional and practical because I do have young children and cats. I forgot to mention that if you have cats, cats plus decorating case in point he's on my dining room table right now um they're just curious creatures so i'm gonna start with this cool tray that i got at the at home store it's very rustic it could be beachy if you wanted it to be looks like i paid 24.99 but maybe it was on sale i'm not sure and i'm just gonna set that at this edge of the table and while we're setting down trays, I actually have another tray that I just bought from Kirkland's. This one I think is on sale right now. Um, at least they were clearancing some of the colors out, but this is just a nice cream color. This is something that I wasn't originally gonna even set on here, but it holds a lot of practical items that I like and I love that I can just pick it up and move it away. So I'm gonna set this tray, just kind of like this nice rustic tray on the other end of this table. So right now that is boring and it needs some serious decorating interest. 
So if you head on over and watch my mantle video, you will see the colors that I'm working with in my main living space right now. Obviously you can see creams, neutral wood tones, metals, some lots of green, and I have a lot of soft tones. I have some lavenders, I have some oranges and yellows, so just go check out that video. So we're gonna bring those tones down here. And I'm gonna start off with this cute little riser. This is from Etsy. I will link everything that I am able to link below uh, for you to easily access, but I'm gonna put this cute little faux plant that I got at Home Goods. I added this little ribbon. I bought a bunch of different spools of ribbon and that's another great way to change out something you wanna leave out all year long, but you wanna incorporate it into whatever theme you're changing to, just add a little bit of ribbon. So I'm gonna set this on top of this, hold up, wait a minute, um, on the tray. Okay, we are changing angles here a little bit. I have this sign that says, be still and know, and this is one of my favorite Bible verses. And so when I saw this, I just absolutely had to have it. And I love little signs like this. They just add a little bit of interest and good reminders. I, I buy a lot of things to remind myself of. So we're gonna set this right on this tray. I'm a big fan of farmhouse beads and I got these really pretty ones. They're a little bit long. I got these at Kirkland's. I think they're oh, a tad bit long, but we're gonna use them anyways. things to look too fussy I like it to just kind of look like it just kind of fell there so we're gonna leave it like that now it is spring and I'd like to incorporate some sort of spring element and honestly I'm gonna leave these out probably through summer because they are just eggs after all this cute little basket I believe was from Hobby Lobby I know that these eggs were and I love the colors and the tones and obviously it ties in with the ribbon so I'm gonna set those right here And that is it for that tray. Simple and pretty. Now to this tray, this tray is a little bit more functional, but because I have it here for that reason, we're gonna decorate it a bit. So first, every living room needs a candle. I am constantly lighting candles all day, every day. Um, I had recently picked this up. I think this is Hobby Lobby, um, or it could be Michael's, or it could be, home. honestly, it could be any of the places you see me shop at all the time. I'm just gonna set that in the corner. Current candle I'm burning here is Sweet Rosemary Vanilla from Bath & Body Works. This smells really good, but it's not as potent as I want, would want it to be when you burn it. Um, but I really have it here for color. I love greenery. And this greenery matches the other greenery. It's just a slightly different color. And I think I'm just going to set that behind the candle here. Here's where function comes in, uh, coasters. Half of these coasters my kids have written all over and marked up, but that's what makes them precious. They've claimed a few of them, um, drew pictures on some of them. And so I just kind of put some of the cuter side up and stick those in here. Books that I'm currently reading, I like to leave out, not only to remind me to read them for the day, but I, th I just think that makes the space feel cozy. And once again, this is that functional element, so I'm just going to set that in here. And then we need a bit of spring. And so I have this cute bunny from Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to set it in here, but I'm going to tell you my children will move this three times today. And that is it. <laughs> enjoyed today's video I absolutely love to share with you how I decorate my home and where I put things that I at one point had hauled and showed you I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope you have nothing short of a fabulous day bye guys